Thanks for joining us at the NCSU Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Taylor Zolads. I'm sure many of you are wondering what we're in for this winter, especially with the warmer temperatures that we've been experiencing the past few days. But according to a few different sources and a few different bits of evidence, we are in for a more mild winter and a wetter winter for sure. According to the Climate Prediction Center, we are in this zone for equal chances, which puts us at a 50-50 chance to either have a warmer temperature on average for this winter or a cooler average temperature. So not much definitive evidence that we're going to have a warmer winter per se. But according to the precipitation outlook, we are in the zone for wetter winter, which puts us at an average more precipitation on average. And that's great news for the southern United States, especially for the southwest and areas of California who desperately need this precipitation because of the severe drought that they're in right now. Another huge factor in influencing this winter is the strong El Nino pattern, pattern that we are experiencing right now. According to years past of patterns that are just like the ones that we have this year, we should expect a mild start to this winter. As the winter goes on, however, we should expect some late winter cooling, so around January and February, that average temperature should drop off. Along with our wetter precipitation on average, we should expect an above normal snowfall as the year goes on and into next year. So those of you wolf pack that love to see a few snow days next year, you should expect to see them in the beginning of next semester. As for today's weather, you can see that we have a lot of thick cloud cover over the southeast and we have this feature down here in the Atlantic which may or may not develop into something but keep tuned with us and we should let you know if that should develop anymore. But as for today, we will have a very rainy day with temperatures at 9 a.m. starting off at 52 degrees and rising to 56 by noon and 58 by 3 p.m. As for our surface map, you have this surface feature that's a low, and then we have this front to our southeast along the coast that should bring us lots of precipitation into today and tonight, and even into tomorrow morning. So like I said, for tonight, that bottoming low of 55 degrees with rain showers continuing throughout the night and into tomorrow morning. And as this low pressure system pushes to the north, all the rain should leave our area fairly quickly, leaving us dry by tomorrow night. So like I said, for tomorrow we have some morning rain, but as that system leaves our area, it should leave us mostly cloudy as the day goes on with a high of 64 degrees with winds west 5 to 8 miles an hour. So for the week ahead, you can see that we have some rising temperatures as the week goes on. And as Thursday comes around, we have a cold front moving through the area that day. So it should bring us a chance for some precipitation, leaving us with cool and dry weather for a beautiful weekend. So we'll keep you updated. Keep watching us here at NCSU Weather. I'm meteorologist Taylor Zolads.